Hi and welcome to A1 Figures Collectibles and uh, we're doing another review. This time we're going to do Enter Bay's uh, Basketball Hoop and so it won't be real long or extensive. And um, my first thoughts and I've commented this on other videos is I thought that the rim um, diameter versus the uh, diameter of the basketball was off. Uh, it just looked real big when I first got it but as I looked at pictures online and things, actually it's really quite close. And so, without further ado, I'm just going to show you the box that it comes in and how they pack it. And uh, right on, you're looking at right now, it's just the back of the entry bay card that it comes with, with the um, instructions on how to put it together. You need uh, three AAA batteries to put in there, as you can see. I have a clock up there. Um, set it up. It's really simple. The nice thing is, if you get to turn the clock off, it does it for you automatically after some time. And it gives you the instructions how to put it together. It comes in a box this size. Now, if you kind of compare this box to the other, like boxes of the figures, they are. Uh, it's about probably two and a third size larger than the. Uh, actual entry bay figure so this more for shipping that's probably why but as you look at the box I'm going to just turn it sideways and it has something really nice for dummies like me it says open this way you open up and here's some in more instructions and things how entry bay does and all the little things what not to do and it's, so they pack it really nice in this foam um, works really well has it all in plastic really neat so they do pack it quite well so I won't waste your time with that okay now I remember I got a couple figures up here I got my little custom LeBron I have my Kevin Durant I got some trophies MVP awards and basketballs and uh, my Blake I'm trying to do a monkey face but that's how he really looks but uh, then I have Pippin now you'll notice some of your figures come with a hand that looks like this let's just focus that in there for you and so I was kind of curious as to why, you know, these figures. Blake has two of them, if I recall. Like, why are they little fingers like that? And I did see somebody, uh, I think at the Clipper Cane, actually, he had uh, a picture of Blake with his, holding his, like, his pants, his shorts out like that. Maybe that's what it was for. I didn't know. But then I saw something, and I figured it out. What it is for is for these figures to grab the rim and hang on there. Now I would say this, this is, I tried this for a while with just one hand and it'll definitely after a while slide off and Pippin's gonna, and the rim's gonna bounce back. So you probably wanna do it, if you're gonna do it with just one hand, you're gonna probably wanna use the stand for the uh, um, figure. But if you're doing both hands, I think you can get stay, but you can get, sometimes you can get things that hang down from the ceiling to help hold all depends on what you want to do now if you look at this hoop it's actually a lot taller than you think so it is oh gosh it's a good three and a half feet high probably so it's a big uh, nice size rim here's Kevin Durant you know kind of up in the air a little bit his hands straight up and you know he's going towards the dunk and he's nowhere near that there's Blake getting ready to block and here is um, LeBron James and stuff like that. Now I do want to show you down here and kind of look from the top and you can kind of see the scale of the ball there. And so it, it, maybe I was just crazy, but at first I was that looks really big. I'm just like a quarter scale size rim. But then as I looked it up and realized, no, it's not. It's just a uh, regular size. It's got a nice little retractable it'll bend down quite a bit so it's got nice power that way um, I wouldn't recommend playing it too much anything that you want to six scales so I don't spend a whole lot of time but you can kind of see it's 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 how it stabilizes it's got a this back here as well as this for support it holds it in right there pops it in down there it's a very sturdy thing it's kind of got like a foamy like a real thick, kind of like a, I don't know if you've ever gone swimming and you use those little kickboards or those po buoy things. It's, it's kind of like that material here. It's kind of the material it is here. Reminds me, I used to swim and so we had those little kickboards we had to hold on to when we worked out. 
and that's what this material feels like so maybe it'll float um, but anyways overall and all I, I still want to try the um, storm toys hoop just to see in comparison I've seen one video where a guy who had a Jordan figure used it and I saw you know he did, he did have that to it as well um, this one is 160 bucks via um, Big Bad Toys um, but I know Big Bad Toys also does the Storm Toys for I think 90 bucks so I got this as a gift or I was just gonna buy the Storm Toys version but uh, I would like to try the other one if I don't like it I'll send it back and you know get, get this one again or you know maybe I'll sell this one if I like the other one but uh, anyways all in all I'm pretty pretty pleased um, you can get uh, for if you want a corner for the NBA stickers. I see it online uh, on eBay. It sells for seven fifty a piece. If you want to get the NBA stick logo on there, I don't know why they don't have that on there. They have their NBA logos under boxes and you know everything else. Why wouldn't they have it there? But they don't. So if you want to get an NBA logo for it, um, that's cool. My boys and I are going to be working on it next week building a basketball court and making a generic court so we can have. All our figures we have 10 right now, and the next one we want to get is the Shack 2 pack, and it's not out yet. But uh, uh, yeah, it is a nice little setup here. And um, if I were just to give it just uh, overall, I didn't know what to expect. Um, so it was a little bit more than what I thought. So for an overall, I'd give it a 5 out of 5. Um, they don't rate like you rate figures, but for likeness and for quality and so far so good um, and usefulness it's got a nice little stand there it's it's actually really well done so wish they'd make their figures a little bit more sturdy but uh, all in all uh, I'm pleased to or uh, highly recommend it I haven't compared it to the storm toys hoop but uh, hopefully I will so check it out check out my other videos I've done pretty much a review on every other figure and uh, let me know what you think. Have a great day. God bless. Out.